on the new Wall Street Journal polling that I think is one of the most interesting numbers we have seen so far. And if these numbers hold up, they show a huge demographic shift that may be underway in America. White suburban women who make up 20 percent of the electorate and the journal is showing that they have swung by 27 points away from Democrats since August. If that number is accurate, it shows a huge move. It would put plus 15 in favor of the GOP with this group. All right, guys. So you seen that you heard that there was a bombshell poll that came out from the Wall Street Journal that shows that white suburban women are swinging back towards Republicans in Congress. And you already know that the woke revolutionary race hustlers of the mainstream liberal media are super upset with this. They're going to lose their minds over this poll because they love, they love blaming white women for all the problems in this country because apparently white women aren't supposed to vote Republican. You're not a real woman. You don't have a vagina if you don't support the Democrat party, okay? And abortion and all the other stuff they tell you that you're supposed to support uh, as a woman. Now, the meltdown that we're going to cover in response to this poll is going to be the cackling hands on the view. And yes, I know, guys, you know, there's some people that's going to be in the comment section. You guys always do this. Why are you talking about the view? You got to stop talking about the cackling hands on the view. Well, I'm going to tell you guys something. The reason why I actually talk about the view quite a bit is because they are a representation of how extreme the Democrat Party has become. And I think that it is important to highlight their extremism, their racism, especially in this case right here, uh, and the things that they're promoting that normal people just don't agree with, right? A lot of people don't understand how extreme the Democrat Party is until they actually see it, until it's bought to their face that this party is the party of racist extremists and hatred and this take right here from Sunny Holston is going to prove my point as she compares white women voting for Republicans to roaches voting for raid but what's also surprising to me is the abortion issue um I read a, a poll just yesterday that white Republican suburban women are now going to vote Republican. Why? It's almost like roaches voting for raid, right? It's, I, it's I think like that's they're that's voting, no, it's they're voting against, the voter. We, they're we, voting no, against no, no. their own self-interest. Do they want to live in Gilead? Okay, do so do we love it in the hands? Do we love tail? democracy or not? Because uh, just saying that it's it's insulting to the voter. People make up decisions on what's right for their family and the idea that well, the you should have a say women, for everyone else's vote. The fact that women are voting against you their own You had a different view on abortion not that long ago and you were I have that view. But that issue is right, but then why but then why is another woman but not I am very able to have a different view? That white Republican suburban women but why are voting you so recently against their own on the issue? Care. I have not really recently revolved, uh, uh, um, evolved on the issue. I am Catholic. That is my faith. I believe that abortion is wrong for me. There is a separation between state, a, a government, and church. And I do not have the right to tell someone else. Sonny, However, they are voting against their own self-interest. What you're saying is a good example. As, as someone sitting here, that's a huge issue for me. This election, the deniers are more important for me. Everyone has a priority list. So to me, I'm voting. I will. Th that is a full stop problem for me that I actually think election deniers being put into office it used to be just former President Donald Trump. Now it's everyone running on the Republican side. That scares me more than anything. So even you that know, women's rights is second for me. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. These women are so out of touch with reality. Again, I just love highlighting the lunacy of the left. <laughs> and The View is responsible for a large amount of the wacky rhetoric that we hear from the left. These people are simply out of touch with the average American. They're living in their elitist bubble. And this is why these conversations, again, are so silly. Right? Look at Sarah Haynes. I'm voting based off election denialism. Well, that is a issue that only somebody that is rich and famous can vote off of, right? If you are a middle-class suburban woman, uh, you're more worried about inflation. You're more worried about your kids being indoctrinated in school. You're more worried about crime. You're more worried about things that actually matter that affects people's life. Election denialism is not affecting anybody's life, okay? 
is really not. Essentially what she's saying is that, well, I'm voting against free speech. And also on top of that, um, if she really is voting based off that, she really can't vote for anybody because Democrats and Republicans both participate in that, right? That is something both sides of the aisle participate in. So I don't know who you're going to vote for, what party you're going to vote for, uh, if that's what you're voting based off of. But again, you only can vote based off that stuff if you're rich and you're famous, which again, is the point of, of this video. Sonny Holston, who in my opinion, I mean, like, I, I think it's safe to assume she is a full-blown racist because, I mean, listen to the things that she said. She compared white suburban women to roaches voting for race. I don't understand in this environment, how do you keep your job after making a statement like that? Because again, imagine if it was a white woman saying that black women or black men or somebody else... Voting Democrat is like roaches voting for rape. Black people voting Democrat are like roaches voting for rape. Bruh, <laughs> there would be a storm of outrage. You would never hear the end of it until that person is fired. Or better yet, from what we've seen lately, if you say that about a certain religion, okay, certain religion that you're not supposed to criticize, you're not supposed to say anything about, right? If the statement was made about them, you think Sonny Holster would keep her job? No, she would be fired, right? She would be fired on the spot. But for whatever reason, in 2022, it is open season on whites. I'm not a big hate speech type of guy, okay? I, I don't consider a lot of things to be hate speech, okay? Because they use that term to censor people. But if you want to talk about hate speech, I think what Sonny Holston just said comes as close to hate speech as you could possibly get. Okay, she's in the territory of, again, uh, comparing groups of people to roaches, insects, animals, right? That, that's the territory that she's getting into because they don't vote the way she believes they should vote. When the reality is, is that the reason why she doesn't understand why they're voting this way is because she's out of touch. She is living in her rich elitist bubble in New York City where she doesn't really understand what real women who are working class, middle class, suburban, are actually concerned with. They're not concerned about the so-called attack on democracy. They're not that concerned about abortion because they're not out here spreading their legs wide open, right? Getting raw dog by random dudes in a club, okay? That, that's not what's happening. Young liberal women in cities are doing that, but that's not what working class, middle class, suburban, mothers are doing so they're not that concerned about abortion because there's not an issue that they necessarily are going to have to deal with that much they're not concerned about racism they're not concerned about lgbtq rights they're not concerned about any of the stuff that democrats want them to be concerned about they're concerned about again inflation their children crime they're worried about real tangible issues that rich elitists like Sonny Holston never has to worry about. Never has to worry about it. And when these white suburban moms come out here and say, these are our issues, this is the things that we care about, this is what's happening to our children in school, you guys deny it. You deny it. You call them racist. You call them domestic terrorists. Look how they treated all the white moms, the white suburban moms that stood up at school board against critical race theory, against sexual indoctrination of their kids. They smeared them. You're racist. You're bigot. You're homophobes. You're transphobes. This is what you say to them. This is how you talk to them. And then you wonder why they don't want to vote for you. You wonder why they're running to the GOP because this is how Democrats and liberals in the mainstream liberal media, this is how they talk to the people that they claim they want to vote for them. They not only deny that their issues exist, they also smear them and degrade them for being concerned about these issues. So Sonny Holston sitting here wondering, well, why are they not concerned about these champagne issues that I tell them that they should be concerned about? I think they should be concerned about. Well, because you're not representative of all women. You're not a mouthpiece for all women. You're not a spokesperson for all women. You don't represent all women. In fact, you represent a very small, tiny, tiny, tiny minority of women that are rich and famous and all they have to worry about in regards to their issues is things like <laughs> election denialism, which does not affect anybody's life, right? Nobody cares about that. But, you know, again, like I stated at the beginning of this video, 
one of the reasons why I do these videos on The View is because it highlights their extremism, right? It puts this to the forefront of this is what the Democrat Party is pushing. If there's a liberal or progressive or a suburban white mom that runs across my video, right, and they see this, I want them to think that I don't want to align myself with these people. These people don't like me. They don't have my best interests at heart. And that changes their voting habits. People have been red pilled by the extremism in the Democrat Party. Why do you think these white suburban mothers are all of a sudden jumping to vote GOP? Well, the reason why is because we've highlighted the extremism of the Democrat Party. We've highlighted the racism, the anti-white racism of the Democrat Party that comes from shows like The View. We've highlighted the extremism going on in schools when it comes to sexualizing children and CRT. We've highlighted extremism of the Democrat Party when it comes to crime. We've highlighted extremism of the Democratic Party when it comes to inflation. Highlighting the extremism going on on the left side of the aisle or mainstream liberal networks like uh, ABC, shows like The View, MSNBC, Tiffany Cross, Joy Reid. The function of it is not to convince people that agree with me. It's to convince people who don't agree with me, who are on the fence, who are saying, I'm thinking about coming to the other side of the aisle. And this is why I do these videos highlighting the cackling hens and the extremism of the left. Because this type of stuff will red pill people. I don't know how any white woman can hear something like that from Sonny Holston and think that, yeah, these people definitely got my best interests at heart. They don't hate me, <laughs> right? They don't hate me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This type of rhetoric right here, again, this is the extremist rhetoric that I'm talking about that's coming from the Democrat Party uh, that really is driving this country into a dark place. But again, the flip side of it is that it, it is motivating a lot of people to wake up and to see this type of stuff and to change their voting habits in response to it. So keep it up, right? Keep it up, Sonny. Keep saying stuff like this because you are working against your own agenda, which is funny because uh, the whole point of what she was saying is that she was accusing white women of working against their best interests, but you can't seem to let your emotions and your racism stay out of the way of you getting in the way of your agenda, right? And what you believe or you claim you believe is best for this country. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.